Good morning. Today is Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. Camping up at Stony Pond State Forest in Madison County. It's election day. And I'm happy to say I'm doing absolutely nothing about elections today. I've early voted, so don't worry. But it's great not being involved in elections for a change. Uh, it's just nice to be out here in the woods enjoying it. It's an absolutely beautiful morning. Not too cool out. I might get some rain showers later, but I gotta take down camp and I'll figure out where I want to go from here. Um, I have been thinking about just the, the trails around um, Otsego Lake, but I just don't know which trails are out there. I also don't know when the rain's going to come in. But uh, yeah, it's been a great three days camping here. You know, actually four days. I came here on Saturday, three nights. But uh, I got to take down camp like usual. But first, we're enjoy some breakfast. I actually had breakfast around. And I got up around 5.45, which is later than normal, but, uh, it's, you know, these mornings are so dark this time of year. Beautiful day, though. I had a big pot of eggs again today. That was really good. And uh, yesterday I did a lot of mountain biking. Um, rode the uh, South um, South Trail, which is kind of a, it, it's an old rail grade, but it's kind of rough. You would, you'd want a mountain bike on it. And then I did, uh, rode around Lorenzo State Park in Casanova, rode through the village, and then the Casanova Chittenango uh, Rail Trail. I rode down to um, uh, whatever the first road crossing where you have to use the stairs, and I turned around because it was cold and wet. And truth be told, I had to kind of run to the restroom, so I was like, I want to get back to camp, and made some delicious. Um, soup last night a lot of vegetables and some tuna and some uh, salt and i think paprika and it came out really delicious it was a good good thing i got a lot of good ve uh, food and vegetables at uh, aldi's and casanova i love aldi's i wish there was one closer to where i live in albany but there isn't uh the nearest one is Rensselaer, and that's going across the river it's usually not worth it to save a little bit on groceries but it is so nice and convenient because they're small and they just have all the basics and it's a little hard to know if they really save all that much compared to Walmart because the packages are smaller but it is a lot easier shopping a lot less crazy and the, the checkout is so efficient the way they just move put you know you bring one cart up and they put it fill another cart for you and um they're just super efficient there and uh they have quite a bit at least Casanova one has a lot of fresh uh, fruit and vegetables it's surprising I'm not sure if they're always the best price, but there's a lot of good stuff there. Some of the dry goods are often a better price. Um, you know, things like the oatmeal and stuff along those lines. And they had Greek, actually plain Greek yogurt, which I was very happy with. Not as tangy as the stuff you get at like Walmart or some of the other re retailers, but it didn't have any added sugar. It was just Greek yogurt. It was fairly, you know, fairly solid stuff. I mean, I don't know if the quality is quite as good as what you might find at Walmart or, or Price Chopper slash Hannaford, but uh, whatever. But yeah, it's been great. Uh, it's glad I got away for these four days. I know it came right after my West Virginia trip, and uh, my bank account probably doesn't appreciate it. But truth be told, what I use maybe 50, 60 bucks a gas at the most, and uh, I probably ate a little more food because you know more calories for you know all the. You know, riding and stuff, and you know, had more time to cook. But probably not actually all that much more because my food bills have gone up since I've gotten into doing a lot of cooking just because all those fresh vegetables and fruit. And the thing about it is, paying a little more for that stuff, you know, it is it is good for the health. And, uh, you know, I've lost so much weight. And, um, you know, I've extended my life probably by a couple of years by, you know, some of the changes in it. And, uh, I mean, it's worth it because I feel great, uh, you know, I, I rarely have any aches or pains. I'm, you know, happier, great mood. Just seems like everything works better when you have a good, healthy diet. And, uh, you know, people think, oh, what's the big deal about diet? It really is, makes such a big difference in life. Uh, you really should should look at, you know, those things. And one of the things, like, with soup I've learned is I used to think cooking was hard. You needed specific ingredients. You had to be really, you know, follow these recipes. And you had to spend hours and hours laboring cooking. That's not true. I mean, that's really a myth that I think try to sell you more processed food and stuff that's, you know, pre-cooked of all the ingredients and stuff. You can, you know, like with soup, just throw a bunch of vegetables in a pot and add some salt, uh, add some spices, whatever you think tastes good, and just do it. I mean, you don't have to make things, you know, it's the thing where I make bread all the time. You know, I use flour, um, 
water, yeast, and salt, and uh, sometimes I'll throw in some oatmeal and carrots or things along those lines, but not fancy. Beautiful sunrise, you can see blue skies. It's not gonna last, but I figure enjoy it while I still can. I got my Bill McGee sign out, because I'm in Nelson, and uh, God bless him, he was a great guy. It was so bad that he, it, was, it really sucked that he lost in 2018 for the general. But that was a race I wasn't involved in. I was, I, uh, you know, I ran his primary in 2018. He won that. I uh, ran his uh, um, primary in 2014 and 20, in general in 2014. He succeeded in those races too. But uh, the year I wasn't involved, unfortunately, things didn't go as what go that way. It's tough, tough environment now for Democrats in rural areas. I mean, the Democratic Party has gotten so far to the left. Uh, you know, and they've really made gun control and abortion and just kind of more urban issues kind of their thing. And, uh, you know, for a district like his, it would be very hard to hold it. I mean, we had also lost uh, uh, Addie Russell's seat uh, the cycle before that. And uh, there are very few uh, rural Democrats left. Um, there's uh, Aileen Gunther down in uh, Sullivan County, but uh, even her district's getting tougher and tougher. Who knows, 2024, what's going to happen? It'll certainly be an interesting cycle. We'll do it. Uh, me and the team will do the best we can. But, uh, yeah, uh, do vote today if you haven't. Uh, Y'all, you'll probably see this video after Election Day. But uh, voting is important, especially if it's, you know, relatively easy to do. I mean, you can make at least a difference around the margins. You know, have your voice heard in the system. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to get uh, camp taken down and get to do some riding. Maybe walk around Stony Pond. Just take advantage of the beautiful day before it's gone. Have a great one, folks.